In this quick video, I'll be going through some of the basic math operations that you can do with constants and variables and just in general equations. So why don't we do pretty basic stuff right here and add two numbers together using the addition operator. So this is probably what you'd expect, you know, but there are a couple of them that you might not realize. So that's why it's important to go through it. There's plus, there's minus, so you're gonna get zero from that. And there's also a multiplication using the asterisk. And there's division. And then you can also chain these together if that wasn't obvious. So we could do something like this. Okay, so you'd get eight. Alternatively, we can use the power function to do exponentials. And that is that looks like that. And it accepts two doubles. So this would be the base and this would be to the power of, uh, we can do two and three. Uh, but notice that it accepts a double, right? So if I try to run this right now, um, I'll still get eight, so that's fine. <laughs> I was just worried that these guys were actually integers. Um, so these were detected as integer types instead, but that's, that's awesome. Uh, there's square root, just to show you a couple other ones. And some that you might not be familiar with, there is ceiling, which basically rounds up. So if I just had, let's say var d is equal to 5 point or 4.5, let's put d in there and see what we get. You know, that, that would be five, right? Because it rounds 4.5 up. And then there's also floor, which rounds down. So if we do that, you would get four from 4.5. And next I wanna show you the increment or decrement shorthand because that might not be immediately obvious and I tend to use it a lot. It's actually very useful. So let's say you wanted to do something like a equals uh, a plus one because you wanna increment a by one. So you'd get three, right? So you're basically taking a, adding one to it and then reassigning it back to a. So if I printed this out, well, yeah, we can just look at the preview window here. If I ran this, you would see three here on the side. Now another shorthand way of writing this is just to go a plus equals one like that. And this would give you four now, right? Cause we're incrementing it again. The reason this shorthand exists is because you tend to do this a lot when you're expressing uh, your logic and you're writing algorithms in your code, uh, incrementing and decrementing tends to happen a lot. So that's why that exists. You can also decrement like that. So decrementing by one, now A would be three, right? This is equivalent to writing A equals A minus one. And this is equivalent to writing A equals A plus one. So if you see me doing that in code, now you know what it means.